All right, so the shadow government controls Congress, manipulates con congressional hearings. We've seen a lot of that. It withholds, withholds clearances from congressmen and senators. We want to know what's going on in Syria and, and, and uh, how you're arming the Free Syrian Army. Well, Congressman Fred Mertz, uh, sorry, but you just don't have the, the clearances to have access to that information. Uh, and if you try to get that information, it's a violation of national security. And you, at the very least, you'll, be, you'll lose your seat in Congress, so I wouldn't go there. That's one way they do it. They classify documents to conceal illegal activity. If you want to conceal it, you classify it. They classified things in my book, uh, illnesses. Uh, my my uh, family and son were poisoned. There were doctors' diagnosis of that, of that toxic exposure, and they classified it. It's not classified about that at all. Now, it's illegal for them to do that based on executive order, but they don't care. So they'll classify it to conceal it from Congress. Classified bu budget information. They classify all the information necessary to, to uh, rule the CI. Classified. Congress has no access to it. Block congressional scrutiny using the state secrets privilege. They actually control the White House. They blindfold the president. Uh, he is not aware of some of these operations. And some presidents in the past have not wanted to be aware <laughs> of these operations. But a lot of the things that the CIA does, they don't tell the president they're doing them. Been there. They don't tell them or Congress that they're doing it. Major constitutional problem, but that's what they do because they've got the power to do it. They manipulate the president. Remember false intelligence given to George W. Bush uh, caused him to make the decision to go to war in Iraq based on false intelligence manipulated by the CIA and given to a president, caused one of the worst wars in our, in our history and destabilized the entire Middle East. They can influence a president's re-election. They can put so much president, remember, remember uh, Senator Schumer's statement? They can put so much pressure on a president that they can prevent him or her from being reelected based on how they work uh, things around the president, the Congress, the cabinet, and other things. Uh, Donald Trump right now is surrounded by shadow government operatives, and it's really concerning. There are members of his cabinet that are starting to manipulate him in ways that are concerning a lot of us. A lot of Federal Reserve Goldman Sachs people are being appointed to high-level positions. Uh, it's getting kind of scary. It, it's up to, you know, you got you to play carefully. Uh, that's one of the reasons they want to get rid of him, but, you know, they're having an effect. Control the judiciary, the, the secret Supreme Court uh, on behalf of the NSA and, of course, the state secrets privilege. So the shadow government, the point of this slide is the shadow government controls all three branches of our government. Who's running the show? They are. And it's a complex system they've been developing for over 60 years.